Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, and if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Um, guys, this is the vision I have when I first wake up, so I thought that's where I'd start my plant tour at. And I'm laying down, it's kind of hard to breathe <laughs> and talk at the same time. But yes, this is exactly what I see when I first get up. This is a west window. And the lighting's really bad. I'm sorry, guys. But anyhow, let's go this way. And we'll start over here in the corner. This is the door that opens up into my room. And then there's the west window. And we'll start down here. Because down here I have a little bella palm. Or an Arsenia palm. I'm not sure which one it is. And then right behind that, I have an Alocasia poly, which is almost growing into my table. <laughs> Let's get a big good look at her. And it completely died completely back. And one day it just started growing again. And now it's pretty big. Alright, let's go this direction. Okay, over here I have an Aglianema. And I believe this one is the Tigris. And she's always blooming. She just had one just die off. I left it on there to show you guys. Don't mind my nails. I had to take the dog out as they were wet. Ugh. And then our little fish down there. That's Gabriel. Peter, don't come after me. His cage is a little dirty. Okay. <laughs> and then up on top, I have just the plain green um, heart-shaped philodendron. I've had her for about two years now. She's doing pretty good. I just took a bunch. Of, she was hanging way down here, and I took a bunch of it off. And it's being propagated in the kitchen. And then I have a Sansevieria Wellfin with a new baby. Show you the pattern on this. Oops, sorry about the finger. Look at that beautiful pattern. Isn't that pretty? And then right beside it, <laughs> I have a Bantail Sensation that was left over from last year's sales. And then this is a Neon Philodendron. They're just cuttings. And then I got this beautiful sketching. Well, I guess it's some kind of print uh, for Christmas. Scotty got me that for Christmas. And then I found that really cool little um, bowl. It's from Norway. I found it at a thrift shop. And then over here I have, up here, I have... Uh, the Pearls and Jade. And then back there, I have my Jungle Book that I won from Pears Plants. Um, oh, shoot. Her name's Sarah. I won that about two years ago on her channel. That's when I first started getting into, no, nah, about three years ago, I guess now. And this is a, one of the large Golden Pothos. With the big leaves. Look how big that leaf is. You know, guys, that reminds me of a Thai constellation. Every time I look at it, I think, wow, that looks just like my Thai constellation. So if you guys can't afford a Thai constellation, get you one of these. It's just pretty much about the same. And after a while, the leaves just start growing out small. I got him directly under a light, but I don't know. I'm starting to think that when you buy them and the leaves are this big, it's just because they are mature. And then the vines are just going to throw out smaller leaves. They do seem to be getting a little bit bigger, though. Maybe. I don't know. But it's doing really well. And then over here on this mirror that um, will not fit underneath that shelf. So I took it off. <laughs> And now I'm using it. Um, I have a little tiny starfish. And then another 
Pearls and Jade, which is actually trailing pretty good. And then back here, hidden in the back, I have a Draxina. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I have like seven or eight of them and I have no idea what its name is. But it's really pretty. It's got lots of different variegation in it. Gray and white. It's really pretty. And then, back up a little bit, sorry. This is my Lemon Lime Draxina. And if you're new to plants, I know a lot of people don't like Draxinas. But, man, they're really good plants. I mean, you can forget about them, and they're okay. They will get a little brown tip here and there. Whack it off and go on, because those are really great plants. And then, over here, I have my baby Monstera. I got it when he was real little last year, and it has just grown and grown and grown. It just started putting out um, split leaves right around summer the end of summer but look how pretty brand new leaf there's one too but i forgot to water it so it's got a little crusty tip right there but i think she'll be okay and then down here beside it i have a very wonky um philodendron macaulay's finale I think that's what it's called. She does, she grows and grows and grows, and I swear it looks just like a pink princess without the pink. But yeah. I have a couple of these actually. But yeah, she's long and wanky and I don't know. I, I probably need to propagate it, but hey, guess what? I don't need another plant. And then up here on our coat rack, which guess what? We're not using it as a coat rack no more is a uh, Manjula pothos. It grows pretty well. You just got to be real careful. Uh, they like their water, and then they don't like their water. So you got to have a nice medium thing with them because they'll start browning and it ain't pretty. All right, uh, this is a baby Monstera I've had for about three months now. Um, it broke. The, this piece and this piece had broke. And I stuck them in this pot. And immediately it started shooting out this new baby. And it's got a new leaf up here. But, yeah, I just stuck it in water in about two weeks. Stuck it in soil. And it's been growing great. Look how big it is now. It was really tiny. All right, which way? Over by the window, I have my and one of my Adamsoni eyes. This is the larger form. Let me see if I can fix that lighting. Yeah, not gonna happen since I'm in the window. Um, this little guy is one of them little curly grass things. Oh gosh, a corkscrew plant. He doesn't grow very well. Oh, that lighting's horrible. Sorry, guys. Okay. Try to fix it. But anyhow, corkscrew plant. And then I have my Adansoni eye. And then this mess down here. Uh, I got this off of the Save Me Rack at Lowe's for $5. Yeah, he has never done well. Think about just chopping him back and restarting him all over because I did another one just like that this is a split leaf philodendron and it came back beautifully so we'll see how that goes and then up here Stephanie gave me this cutting last year of the black pagoda lipstick plant which he hates me <clears throat> some days he grows okay some days he don't but I put him in here so he could be near the uh, bright sunshine in the afternoon and then this is a wood fern sansevieria and a piece of it had broke off this piece had broke off from the mother plant and I just stuck it in the soil and about I don't know about four months later it popped out this baby which is doing good and then I have a squiggly little aloe back there and then here I have Oh, that lighting. 
um, another, uh, philodendron lemon lime. All the cuttings from the shelf up there is from this one. And she's already starting to shoot out more new growth. Look at that. I had to trim her though. She was getting crazy. And then I have some Neuroform adding sunny eye back here. Yeah, whatever with that one. So over that plant. And then this one I've had for years, for almost two years. This is a um, white fusion. She has to live in there or she'll get spider mites. It completely died. I mean completely, you guys. I'm not kidding. So she's been living in this little terrarium thing for a while now. <clears throat> but I tried to take it off a while back because I wanted to get her used to the air. See if I could get that off of it. Yeah, it just it got some little white spots on it. I was like, oh no, here we go. And then I got a little Ripsalis here. Oh, that lighting's horrible. Sorry. And then I have another Ripsalis at the top, which it, you can't see it. <laughs> and then this is another Adam Sunny Eye, which had uh, the narrow form. It lost all of its splits, so there you go. I think it might have a couple right here. Nope. Gone. Just lost them all. I don't know. Oh, and my Sansevieria fell down. Hold on, let me get my makeup. Oh, there he goes. And then I have that Sansevieria up there, which you can't see with a dag on. There he is. Turn it a little bit. There he is. So got him. And then back in the back on the window right here is a Billabada Hoya, which is doing really well. I'll go back over and show you. And all this lighting and this is <clears throat> some type of peperomia i think it's a scandens i don't uh i can't remember exactly what they did so I, but anyhow i got that and then this is the variegated lipstick plant and this well just knock something off of it <clears throat> excuse me and then i have another one back here I'll try to get around there so I can show it to you here in a second. And then I have a Marble Queen down here, which that is the hardest plant I've ever seen in the world to root. All the other pothos, great. Marble Queen, not so much. Not for me. And then I have this Pachera. I think that's what it's called. Money Tree. She's doing okay. Uh... I forgot to water it a while back, and it, a bunch of the leaves just started dying off. I was like, what is wrong with this thing? And then I realized what I've done. Because you got to be real careful when you put them in this pot, because, you know, it stays moist for a pretty good long time. And then I got another Bella or Arsenia palm in it with some purple trident scantia, which it was just one little piece, and now it's... Got a whole plant in there. It's crazy. All right, what else do we got in here? All right, over here, I have the mother fernwood and then some starfish sansevieria, which actually have babies. Let's go with babies. And then I have another lemon lime philodendron which I got not too long ago because I, I hardly ever see them around here. That's the only reason I snatched it, so it's called a hoarder. And then this little guy I had been wanting forever, and I'm just having a hard time with him. I don't know. This is a um, an owl eye peperomnia or the polybotra, the... Raindrop peperomia? Yeah. So, I'm trying to propagate a piece of it down there. Hopefully that'll work. But I found that in my local nursery for $6.99. They had a few of them that they were doing just for themselves, so I grabbed one. <laughs> I begged her for it. She gave it to me, and I brought it home and started killing it. So that's always fun. And then, up at the top, 
I have a philodendron lichens. This is just cuttings from um, my mother plant that I have. Stephanie gave me some cuttings too, and it's grown really great. It's in the um, in my plant room. Oh, that'll be the next door. Well, maybe following the next door. I don't know. Okay, this guy is a variegated string of hearts. The chain of hearts, I guess. And she actually looks really good because when I got it, it was about this much and all of this has grown on there. But she lives in that always. So as soon as this video is over, that's where her body's going right back in there. Because, yeah, she tried to die on me. I was like, uh-uh, I paid way too much money for that thing for it to die. So I'm not going to do that. And then I believe the last couple plants I have is this cylindrical or cylindrica sansevieria. Now, for some reason, the thing went crazy and shot babies out long ways. I don't know why it did that. I never took anything out of the pot or added anything to it. It just started doing that. So I don't know if it's some type of hybrid and I don't, I just don't know. And then the last plant I have in here is my Raven ZZ plant. I got that oh, the end of September or October. I can't remember. But when it came in, this piece right here was snapped off at the top. So I put it in water and now I have a little baby. So it seems to be doing okay. But it rooted up pretty quickly, actually. I was pretty amazed. But there you go. I just dropped dirt everywhere. Okay. Um, I did want to let you guys know that um, I kind of been <clears throat> having, I don't see how you put this, kind of been cheating on the channel a little bit because I've been into another community, which was jewelry. Oh my gosh, I love vintage jewelry. And for one day, I was just looking around and boom, I found one video and then another video. And now I've begun collecting jewelry for my granddaughter. I want to save it. And when she turns 18, I want to give it to her. I think that would be fun for her. You know, her and her friends have all this vintage jewelry. But of course, I get to play with a little bit of it <clears throat> before she gets it. But I have found a lot of awesome stuff. I'm not kidding. Um, tons of earrings and awesome necklaces from like the 60s and the 70s and earrings. Let me see if I can check out these earrings. Come on. Oh, and these are my favorite. I mean, come on. Who is going to wear these? But how cool is that? I mean, these are like from the 60s. I had some more up there too laying out. Oh, no, I did. oh, these. Check this out. These are earrings. Seriously? So 60s. Maybe 70s. That is <laughs> so cool though. But yeah, if you, any of you guys are interested in like jewelry hauls and stuff, I have one coming up here soon. But I didn't think anybody would want to see any of that. But if you do, yeah, let me know. Because I got a lot to put away. I got wood jewelry, beads, uh, stone, um, some silver. Yeah, I've just been having a blast with it, actually. And the minutes that I get during the day, which aren't many anymore. But, yeah been sorting jewelry <laughs> but okay guys that's my tour for, of my bedroom let me give you a quick look real quick there's where we started
quiet in here. I don't know if you can hear my wind chimes outside. Because <laughs> it's really windy. That snowed last night a little bit. It's gone now, though. Okay, guys, as I promised, there's my bedroom tour. And normally there's a cat and a dog laying up there, but not right now. I chased them out of here a few minutes ago. <laughs> Told them they got to go. All right, guys. Uh, next tour will probably be laundry room, kitchen. The plant room will have to be one by itself because there's a lot of plants in there, and I'm not kidding, a lot. But, all right, guys. I love you. Happy growing. Talk to you later. Bye.